you're still putting your boots on the wrong feet again. Oh, no, yeah, fucking <laughs> not <laughs> <half>, mate. <laughs> you have done your research, haven't you? Do you know what? Right? I fucking struggled with you because, like, I open it with a random comment all the time trying to get a bit of dirt on people. It's yeah. so, like I've been to your Graham, your Kai, uh, everyone trying to find gear, messaged all kinds of people who was on your social media and no one got back to me. Yeah. And the only person who got back to me was your half fella. Was it? Yeah. So he told, no me, about, he told me about the story when... Uh, he hasn't even said anything. <laughs> <laughs> he told me the story about when you were like playing 30 minutes of the match and you realised you had the boots on the yeah. wrong feet. First half, I had a stinker as well. I was like, fucking hell, what's up? What's going on? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Boots on the wrong yeah, feet. he's like, come here. He's like, fucking boots on the wrong feet, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. me f- hip. <laughs> only about a couple of nah, years. I think I was only about nine or something yeah. like that. It's only a kid. Probably like, but oh, that's just part of what I'm like. It just <laughs> and then he, he said about the fucking the key fob story or something. That's where the yeah, next trigger come from. Yeah, we moved out from uh, Aylwood. We moved up to Croton. I think it was probably my first bevy where I was bladded. Yeah. So I got a taxi back to my old house. And, oh no, sorry, he's on a bad different one. I'm yeah. on a but my one when I'm on a boat, so I got a taxi back to my old house and yeah. knocking on the door. Someone else someone else answered them thinking, someone on here, on, yeah. you moved to the <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you know me dad what he's on about there was I got out the car and I was trying to open the door and yeah. you keep but just my mind's just all over the place. <laughs> I'm just like thinking about fingers and like going on, you know what I mean? Yeah. So then Still all over the place, all mate. over the gaff. Yeah. Uh, how's your day been, lad? All right, you know, just trying to stay busy. It's just yeah. tough, isn't it? It's grafting, fucking not fully open or anything yet, is it? Yeah, exactly. Works obviously just slow because everything's slow. Slices is on. I'm pr- working properly or they're overloaded with yeah. things. As I mentioned before, I'm opening a care home, but then that's you're waiting to be registered, so there's nothing you can do there. Fucking so it's just your time, yeah, it's just a waiting game for everything. So, but. It is what it is, isn't it? Like, fucking, we're in a better position than what we were last year, isn't it? Hundred percent, yeah. It's fucking much better now, like, so. Oh, go to the gym and that, do a little bit. Just got to try and keep busy, haven't you? If you fucking sit there all day doing nothing, you know, yeah. And I'm mad. a thinker me as well, like. Ah, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm proper thinking me. Just Your so. brain just goes into overtime. Yeah, so I just like to try and stay, even if it's just driving. You know what I mean? Like, I'll go and see me nan, and then just someone to talk to, really, because my days I don't really work, work. So, oh my mates and that, they're all all in work. So yeah, nine to fives and all yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So then. I'm on my own most most of the days, yeah. so um, so even just going to sit with me now for a little bit and just have a little chat with her, it just takes your mind off things, you know. What does I mean? yeah, does. Um, so what I want to start off, so of your early life and your football career. So I know you grew up just off markets, didn't you? Yeah. And uh, what was life like growing up down there then? Um, all right, you know. To be fair, it was um, like we had, it was like masonettes then where yeah. we lived on the top floor. Um, so it was just one of them where. A few lads lived around the yeah. same. Fucking sorry, everywhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, so we just out and there was like a big fear. We play footy. There was yeah. like a like a cable post. And yeah. We'd have a game of post. Um, and my dad just had me train playing footy oh. all the time since I was a kid. Just Gosh. constantly. And then obviously he was a football, not like a footballer, but he used to play for like footy. So I'd go yeah. around and I'd watch him he'd follow his team with like me little me, me, his lads. His Kids mates, lad, them. yeah. Mm. So, followed him every day, play footy, Gosh. and yeah, just enjoy- and but the lad who was in the accident, where he lived next door to me as well. So, oh, grew he? up kind of with him as well. So, um, okay. so yeah, no, I was decent. Gosh. Didn't have we weren't a wealthy yeah. family, but just had everything we needed. And That's all you need, it. Yeah. Exactly, that was a good after. So, Gosh, Degsy, a few of the lads in work, no one liked you. Like, oh, yeah, like, honest said- to God, lad, everyone knows. <laughs> <I think laughs> it's, few, yeah. it's probably a few footy. I think he was a bit of a footy slag back in the day. <laughs> so, I think obviously, as you know, when you play for different teams, you meet loads of lads. Yeah. So, uh, honestly, I've been in Jamaica, like, on the fucking middle of nowhere, and, and he just did, Diggsy! And I'm like, how do you know him from the fucking, in the fucking Montego Bay? How do you know him? Honestly, it's fucking insane. But, That's fucking mad. But again, it's not a bad thing, is it? Cause no, it's not. It means he's, he's a decent fella, yeah, so. It does. <laughs> what what school did you go to? Uh, Machets, growing up as a kid. Yeah. And then, um, uh, the hell will come then, in secondary school, yeah. You're, you're 30, aren't you? Yeah, 30, yeah. yeah uh, so you, you're my age, then? Yeah, yeah, so it was Joey Stocks in your Joey year? Joey Stocks, Joey's yeah. in your year, yeah. I used to hang around with, with John, um, Steve Sonners, Jack Kipp, oh, and all did that. You, yeah, I used to hang around right. with them, so they're a couple of years younger yeah, than me. Yeah, well, I think they're one year younger than me. Um, Jack Kippen and that, is it? Yeah, yeah. Jack Kippen. And then yeah. Eddie Watkins, a couple of years older than you, isn't he? Do you know Eddie? Oh, I'm not too sure. No. Fucking, yeah. I know his face, probably. Yeah. Nice lads, them now, yeah. They're, they're, they're all sound. Joey yeah, Stocks, yeah, fucking hell, he's bananas as well. He is fucking <laughs> yeah. off his tits. George and John still work in our place, like, oh, do you? Yeah. still there. Are you yeah. in Jagger? Yeah, yeah, um, oh, yeah right. I'm in John- well, Addy and Johnson's, like, but yeah. I was in Johnson's I know, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember. Um, but that's what I was saying, I was talking to your Graham and Kyle. Oh, all that sorry, yeah, getting, so is that how you, yeah, yeah, yeah Johnson, yeah, fucking hell, that was hard. <laughs> yeah, a while ago, that. Oh, lad. <laughs> Obviously never working a day in my life and going today, it's just like, for everyone else, like me, half of 
give it a go I think or oh, I mean, it's just like it's just not him because you yeah. obviously you're just on a line standing still things come across it's fucking robotic and that's yeah. it yeah but for me it was just graft I was yeah. just like fucking hell what's this yeah but you were like you were on the front seat back line weren't you uh, yeah I was and on skinning. the skinning yeah I was just skinning yeah, yeah, yeah and I, I, I you know what I was just uh, just get in there and do whatever you do can you, because do, you do your job and get yeah, off yeah well apparently our Graham said that he fucking saved me a few times because like my line manager was bingo and he were, <laughs> he were my <laughs> best big fat yeah man, he were my best mate like so I think <laughs> I always used to think when I fucking leave you I'm going to swat him yeah. and all that but, still there, bingo as well. but I've seen him out a few times and he's alright it's just in work he's got to be the boss so he fucking there's loads of like that now work like yeah. you'll have a bevy with them in the sound but fucking in work just turn they're just fucking playing the arse aren't they oh mate honestly when I was leaving there I was I was adamant I was going to fuck him like. <laughs> but he was alright when I met him but no do you know what though again it's just it's good being around the lads isn't it it is my line was sounded like, like well, I, I was on box so oh, I, was you on my on I my shift yeah I was on your yeah, shift for a little bit because I was Lennon shift, um, and I think Bingo's was McCartney. Was he? I think I, I think I went on McCartney. Was you on your Graham shift? No, no. So he, I was I was on your Graham yeah, shift. Yeah, I think he, we we when we were getting off, he was coming in. I think Mono and them. Mono and that. Mono still there. Yeah, Mono. Mono yeah, yeah, he fucking be there. But he, he they were coming in when I was getting off. Yeah. Yeah. But it was just it was you know what it was fucking it's cushy in it. Yeah. Staying decent though for what it is it's fucking yeah, decent it's tight, hard, like, yeah. you get like fucking police officers nurses and all that putting their lives on the line Not even like 19 it. grand you get lads putting screws in the seats for like 28 grand get your weekends that. in on there you're fucking taking Fine. a grand a week home aren't yeah, you easy so it's That's sad it. Double bubble on a fucking Saturday Sunday. Can I do your craft every every weekend? <laughs> I need tight ass. I don't get it anymore like because I'm I'm an engineer in the office mm. and uh, we don't get any overtime. Oh, and when we do, it's fucking like single pay all. Like it, it used yeah. to be no pay as well. Did it? So it was fucking graft because we used to get double bubble all the time. So that would be like that to me, boss. Got a project this weekend, just sit watching the footy all weekend, yeah. and then a double pay and all that, and then they just pulled the plug on it all. Yeah, Walking you graft. fucked the graft up, did yeah, you? Fucked the graft up, lad. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what? Like, <laughs> one of the lads who's left now. He, uh, he used to love the overtime and then like fucking he got caught like over in Pizza Express and all that old pizza up with his bed while he was clocked in and all that <laughs> so that's what fucked it for everyone uh, <laughs> so go- going back to like being a kid and that uh, and footy so you used to play for Huntswood yeah. and Country Park didn't yeah, you Huntswood, yeah Huntswood was a, it was a mix between obviously Hunts Cross and Halewood so that's where the name came from that's where the name came from the yeah. original that lad yeah, exactly <laughs> some thinking went into that didn't it <laughs> but, um, but now we had a very good side we like we fucking Went all season without even conceding a goal. Stop it. I think where did they just play on the Simpsons, was it? No, it was on um No where the sports is now in Elwood. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was on that. But okay. it used to just be all field. Class, and just, yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. think the sports he was there, can't yeah. think what it's called now. But um it was on there, yeah. So as I always remember we played some team and we were fucking winning about twenty nil and we let them score and like they, they just went bananas. <laughs> like it was just First like teams yeah, to score yeah, honestly. Uh, Joey was in goal, Joey was a proper cat yeah, when, he was we, a when we were kids, yeah. yeah. We had Bunny, who was Joey's cousin, yeah. but he was just big at the like that age, yeah. so he was just he was good. Yeah, we had some we had some good players, so we, yeah, had a good good little team growing up. We used to wear like this blue kit with our colours up, because all the fans seemed and all that. Still got a little faulty there and there, That's but good. just got little memories, you know yeah. what I mean? When you grow up and that. But um, no, it was good. And they were on a Saturday and then Country Park was Yeah, a Country Sunday. Park was a Sunday, yes. Um can't really remember much about that. I think I more went to Country Park when because uh, I was I was listening to my own podcast before just to try and remember things as I said my life's been that mad <laughs> yeah. I forgot about some stuff and um, I went to Liverpool for like the age of eight and then when you sign on the nine I didn't get picked for that yeah. first so then I went to Country Park then with Ian Barrigan who's still I think he's still there now Yeah, because he's a, sc- he's a scout he's a scout yeah, yeah. I went to school with Danny so, did you? oh yeah, yeah Danny well he played and I played for Country Park did you, as yeah. I got older because Danny took over Country Park as an open age team um, so I played like a season or two with them yeah. and we had like the old Liverpool reserve kit and all that because yeah. he got off his half out yeah. and that yeah. but so, when we used to play against Cunsey Park because Cunsey Park used to fucking tear all the leagues up when we were kids like everyone used to always go like oh they're a fucking they're a feeder for Liverpool because of how good the players were was that just a fucking a rumour like were they just people good so they got picked yeah. up or were they a proper feeder the, team yeah that was kind of like the it was like a kind of club without being a club so like yeah. all the best players around the Saturday just yeah. play for them you know what I yeah. mean so I can't really remember a lot. I remember a lad called Louis Corrigan who, who, who went to Tram you know you remember yeah. him be playing uh, but I can't really, really remember so who else played there yeah but uh, as, now, as you said you were fucking nine or yeah I was a kid yeah. yeah but now um, I know Trent went in there and that oh. when he was he, he played for them and that obviously you 
listen to little things and that. So yeah, we had a good side then as well, but I didn't play with them for too long and then Liverpool come back in then. And so what happened with Liverpool then? Because you said you'd had trials and then yeah. you fucking got a chocolate bar and you thought yeah. you were in and then your mum were like, no, that's all the kids yeah, have been yeah, legged. Yeah. So was it just like open trials or you're invited? What was the script? It was like a little camp thing type. Okay. So you just go to Madden Avenue, yeah. um, just go there, just say and do whatever. Uh, and then yeah, they come to a point where they, they pick players and that. And, was, and as I say, I always remember like when you'd get like um, I mean, I feel a bell in me there. It's probably just it's yeah. not live, is it? No. <laughs> Dex is watching now. Um, yeah, fucking so. Yeah, just used to get like matches and whatever, and then it comes to a point where then you'd um, they were shouting names out and that, and yeah. they gave me a, like a chocolate bar. They were giving sweets out, yeah. and obviously I got one, and I thought, I mean, yeah. And then it was like my mum was like, nah, that was like a little sympathy <laughs> thing. You're not coming back. Yeah. But yeah, it, went, it was only a few months, yeah. and I went to South um, Country Park, and then a few months later they come back come and back. just uh, made a mistake, come back, and then a few sessions I was back in. Boss, love all that. Um, so what was it like at Liverpool then? Brilliant, mate. Yeah. I get asked the question now, like, do you miss it? Like, someone only asked this the other day, like, do you miss it? And I said, I don't I don't miss footy. I just miss that. Camaraderie and the no, family. No, I miss footy. I mean, sorry, I, mean, I do miss footy, but only at that level. Yeah. Like, I don't play no more, but I don't miss it. Like, no, I don't miss it. Yeah. Like, just when you're seeing up Saturdays and you're, like, and I'm not, like, no snob and that, but obviously when you've played for Liverpool and that all your life, you're playing on carpets, you when you're saying up on like Saturday, even though my Saturday league team... fucking wheelie bins on fire. That's what I'm saying. Even though my Saturday league team was probably it's the standard, best. Yeah. It was just like you turn up still and you fucking... You just don't fancy it, you know what I mean? It's yeah, because even when you went back to like fucking amateur, you played at a good level. You yeah, played for Eggie and yeah, oh, ABH. Yeah. Ray Clifton in goal for them Ray then. Clifton, Ray yeah. Clifton, yeah. Ray Clifton's cat, a cat, isn't he? Proper cat. He, he was being out for so long injured and he had a game again a few weeks ago or whatever and fucking bust his wrist again, I think. Did he's he, fucking, yeah. he's fit. He's made, boss, but... Uh, yeah, he's, yeah. Made, he's made the chocolate. No, yeah. but... Um, <laughs> But no, he's um, but yeah, so APH is still a good good yeah. football team. Like you play against teams, you just wanna go long second balls and that and that's just that is it is what it is. That's the nature of the game at that point. Yeah, level, but it? we play, we had some fucking great players. But even then you still think, oh, I can't really be arsed today. We're at Liverpool, it was just like fucking I'm up for this today and someone's getting it and you know what I mean? Yeah. And obviously yeah, my my half was proper like loved it as well. Yeah. So I miss that. Yeah. But I don't miss like footy. In general. Yeah. And it's for someone who's never sort of played footy to that standard, it's hard to even imagine what it's like because it's every boy's dream to play for a club. Yeah. But I imagine it comes with a lot of pressure because um, I don't know if you know Luke Powell. Luke Powell, yeah, yeah shred he's, fast now, he's yeah. At Everton, he was at Everton for years and he, yeah, he was in my school. Yeah. And like, I, I've said the story a few times, he was um, sat next to me in school. And he was like, like Davy Moyes had got permission off the school to bring him up to train with the first team a couple of days a week yeah. at like the age of 14. And he was like, I think I want to leave Everton. He said, there's just too much pressure. He was like, what do you reckon I should do? And I was like, I've always wanted to play for a club. You can't ask someone who wants to yeah. play if you want to leave. And I, as a 14-year-old kid, I was just like, you're mad, but you don't understand the yeah. fucking the ins and outs of yeah, playing no, for a, a club I mean, like that. But I don't know Luke's um, story. Yeah, yeah, and that, but my half was heavy on me. So pressure for me was like, my 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 pressure was him. But I imagine like you were probably your own fucking biggest critic as well. Yeah, no, well, yeah. But like, as I say, it was my pressure was me half like, was like, and I'm, I'm even like this now with my little nephew. He's just getting into forties, only seven, yeah. and it's like I'm getting. So I understand what why my half was, was like that. Yeah. But the amount of times like I'd be crying in the back of the car coming home from forty, obviously when I was like twelve, yeah. thirteen. But like I'd thought I'd do all right, and he'd fucking think I'd done shit. Or like my mum like says now, like on the line, she'd like look down and he'd look at her and he'd just shake his head and I mean I'm having a stinker. Or but the thing is, and as much as a kid, you, you might think he's being fucking harsh on you, but. To make it as a footballer, you you've that, got to yeah. be fucking levels above everyone else, and that's yeah. all he was looking out for. Yeah, really. no, of course. And he knew, and he, and he knew like you've I'll, got to stay grounded as well, haven't yeah, you? You can't it. get carried away. I've seen like a little column that Serena and Venus Williams just mentioned about their alpha. Like, she said like the, he was proper on them, like yeah. out every day. My dad was the same, like field running pre season, doing runs everywhere. <laughs> there was games where I was playing against like I always remember against Evan. It was this this lad playing called Kev. And growing up, he was always a lot better than me and that. And, but like he'd say to me, dad, my dad would just say to me as he's standing there, the lad, you just got to let him take the piss out of you all game. And, and Kev's standing right there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just making a cunt out of me. But <laughs> as I got older, you know, it started, it started going like that, you know yeah. what I mean? But, but sometimes I was the type of player who needed a kick up the ass to get yeah. me going. I'd need someone to whack me in a tackle or, you know. Wake it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And then that'd only help me, you know what I mean? Yeah. I wouldn't go hide and I'd just fucking write game on now. So he probably just knew how to... Get the best out of you, exactly. Yeah. yeah, 
at Liverpool then, so you, obviously you were at the same age, you were with the same group of lads mainly as the age group went up. Was there many changes in and out the club or was it like the same set of lads from like under nine? Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, changing all the time. Was it? There was only me and another lad called Steven who, uh, who stayed. All the way through? Right through, under nine. You, you were in the same age group as Big Joe and JK, Big weren't Joe, you? Big Joe, yeah. Big Joe, JK. Again, JK was brilliant growing up. Yeah. And then, then he never got his YTS, did he? Yeah. And, and he was, was just... going to Blackburn on trials yeah. and stuff. And well, I play, he, he played against him for Blackpool. Yeah. Hey, Blackburn, sorry. Yeah. Um, fucking hits him in a tackle hard. He scored a fucking left one in on him. Yeah. Little 50 50 with the ER, ER card. He just got mad him. Boss. Um, but yeah. no, JK was, he was one of the best growing up. Um, but yeah, it's, as you get older, it's, and that's why I say it's just you don't know football until they're about 15. Honestly, yeah. you hear people saying that 10, 11, 12 year old kids going to make it. Oh, the shit. Yeah. Play these kids. I remember a couple of twins from Leeds. Honestly, God, mate, they were growing up, they were fucking unbelievable. unbelievable. Couldn't touch them. One year, where are they? Oh, fucking hell, they got let go then. Yeah. It's just mad. It, it is scary, like, you can be levels above and it can just come down to the finest margins for a club, can't it? Do you exactly. Know what I mean? There was like called Don Price, don't even know me. Don was an ask. Yeah, he, Don he Price. coaches at Blackpool now, don't yeah, he? Yeah, he's doing yeah. well, he's just been going yeah, down. Got got promoted, yeah. So, I don't know if you remember him, he was just lightning. He was unbelievable. Lightning. Fast. Our school had a boss, because I, I went to Carlina and all them, so we had a boss footy team. Yeah, so he was just lightning growing up. Yeah. But when you get older, people catch you up and then it's, yeah. what else have you got? If that's all you've got. If you, the only thing you have was pace. Because, like, Big Joe was, like, six foot from the age of, like, ten, yeah, weren't he? Do you know what I mean? So yeah. he was a fucking unit of a centre-half. He messaged me the other day, Big Joe. So he's, he's fucking doing MMA and all that yeah, now, he? So yeah, he's completely but he's fucking, he, was, he was always going to be an MMA fighter, man. He was a size <laughs> and he used to fucking fling a few lads like, around the changes <laughs> yeah, as well. He had a few statements in half when he'd seen him. me around the pool table once. <laughs> Have you got it? Have you got some boss memories from your time at Liverpool? Yeah, then? boss mate, honestly, like travel the world, don't you? Been to Abu Dhabi, um, Dubai, and Spain, Italy. You go everywhere, yeah. and I had a good set of lads with me. I thought Adam Pepper, um, Jack Metcalf, Jay Ellis, and just loads of lads who were just a good yeah. laugh. You know what I mean? Boss lads. We um, that Jay, Jay Ellis, the lad called Jason's a fucking screwball. We <laughs> we played in Italy, and like you'd go to Italy. And you'd come up against lads who are about six foot, yeah. and you're like fucking five foot two. Yeah. They're always massive. You're There's no way he's my age. So you'd never ever fucking do well, you know yeah. what I mean? But this one time we got in the final, and uh, right, so train, go and get your head down for a or whatever, and then finals later on tonight. I just heard these like Spanish kids or Italian kids, whatever it yeah. was, fucking shouting, and I'm like, what's that? So look how Jay's fucking robbed the little scooter. <laughs> he's fucking flying up and down. <laughs> they're all kicking off. <laughs> Oh, but just little memories like that. Yeah. You know, we still talk about it now when I speak to Just stay in touch with many of the lads, do you? Um, well, a few devout Jays in Australia, Jack yeah. Metcalf's in America. Uh, I haven't spoke to Pep for a while, but then I speak young to young because obviously with my injury. You got kept back for a bit, I got kept you? back, yeah. yeah. So then I met like John Flanagan. Good and, mates with John, aren't you? Yeah, with Matty McGiver and Craig Rodden. Uh, Adam Moore go, so I just yeah. had a little stag with them there, but yeah. we leave that off this. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, but. so... Yeah, so I, still, I speak more to them. They're more my closest mates. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And many of the lads you played with still playing at a decent level or is it just all the spares? No, there's still, yeah, there's still some... There's still some Where's John now? Because he didn't he get let go from Rangers? Yeah, we got, he went to Belgium, didn't he? But, uh, did he, yeah? Yeah, I think there's a bit of politics going on over there, but he's come home now, so he's just getting himself fit now. Yeah. Getting, getting a little... Kind of politics fitting. with what? Because the, the Belgian government's a fuck, yeah, it's no, up the wall at the minute. Um, well, rumour has him. I don't really speak to him about 40 too much. Yeah, just mates. It's just friendship, yeah, yeah, innit? Yeah. But I think rumour has it a little bit is that like the chairman signed them over the manager's head, one of them, so the manager's kind of took it out on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that like I hate when that happens. You yeah. see it at clubs. Exactly, it's, it's not fair. Bad. So you just you fucking have ruining someone's career. You know what I mean? Exactly. But he's got a good scene, a good enough CV. He'll find yeah. somebody. Yeah, he will. He's fucking. He's a good lad. He's mm. a boss player, but he's a boss lad as well, isn't he? Tell you what, he done fucking brilliant on that year. We nearly won the league as well. Right. He come in, didn't he? Just fucking hit the ground. Honestly, they couldn't even put a foot wrong. I, I felt our ass as well the following season because he was he was just like a fucking hero for the club and yeah. then it, the next season it just didn't go his way did it yeah it really no, like it's, well. so as again Dad Lee's just the manager one he so yeah. he's obviously took to him and then when another manager comes in it's all the you've, opinions, you've mentioned that last time like on, on Andy's part yeah. where like there's players who were like the fucking best player at the club and soon as the manager changes yeah. they just fucking go flying yeah. down the well, path well that's it that was particularly I was on about Adam Pepper like growing up and that he was fucking brilliant yeah. like me and him you should be on the same wavelength you know what I mean he'd play behind the, the, he'd play behind the forward and that'd yeah. be sent mid obviously so one twos and that we'd be on the same wavelength and then growing up when he was a proper kid it was yeah. like who's he signing for he's worth six mil I think it was and Barca wow. Ajax that was the rumour so then uh, he ended up coming to Liverpool and then yeah and then obviously he was flying with, with my he used to play off for my age and then 
it all got turned around the academy. I think a different first team manager come in and brought in all yeah. his own staff. And then, yeah, it's just this Rodolfo Barelli who's actually fucking Pep Guardiola's assistant. He just didn't say to any of us. No. Me, Pep, Jay. The local lads. Yeah, the local lads just legged us all. Really. Yeah, moody, that, innit? So, but it's funny because I hate him and I'm like, fuck, but Flannel and I, he'd love them. So they like him, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I hate him because he's just, he was just a horrible bastard, mate. So I just didn't like him at all, me. He was, who would you say is the best you've played with? Like, he's any talented, other, yeah. It's Jack Wilshire. Yeah, all England. Day, all day. Levels just, above. When we were, when we were, it's, it's just, it's far, it's with that big. You know what I mean? It's like, only small, my age, yeah. but I'm just a normal size. Yeah. Where his legs just like that. He was just. Got strong. a really good fucking low centre of gravity, Annie. Yeah. And like that game against Barca, he just one, fucking yeah. Remember that? schooled them, didn't he? In the Eston Javi, just mixing it with the pair of them. I know. So, he, he, obviously, injuries has ruined him, hasn't he? That's the thing. Like, there's some players out there who are fucking unbelievable, and injuries just write them off. And yeah. it's, it's shit. Like, it's horrible to watch, innit? Yeah, exactly. And do you know what? Like, obviously. It affects you bad, you know what I mean? Like, remember Michael Owen when he was a yeah. kid? He was fucking out but then yeah. injuries just ruin you. But, no, he was there by far the best player to play with, like. Yeah, boss. Um, so, moving forward then, so the 5th of April, you had another boss game in Starby County, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you were called in, you're told next season you're going to be up at Melwood with the reserves. Yeah, yeah. And then the next day, there yeah. was the accidents. Yeah, before the, um, before the game it was, um, me, Nathan Nicholson and Steve Irwin, we got called in to say basically like you're going up at the end of the season. I think it was like the second to last game of the season. You're going it, up. It was the YTS two years, but you got called up a year early, yeah, was it? Yeah. So you meant to do two year YTS, and then you you're either going yeah. up or you're getting, getting that off. Yeah. So we done one year. That was our first year, and then um, yeah, we got told we were going up there, um, and then so as you can imagine, you go out and you're just like on top of the world, yeah. playing footy, confidence and that, play well, and then um, and then yeah, the next day, yeah. What happened then? Um, just from what do you know, what it's 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 a good thing, like, but I can't remember it much. You know what I mean? I can yeah. only remember like you said. You remember speaking to it was a Calum, is it? A, in at the window in the car. Callum. Callum was Callum, it that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he was the first one to pass our yeah. test. Uh, to pass his test, so he's the only the only one who drove. Who drove. Yeah. So I remember being in Uns Cross. I remember we were going to pictures and we were getting the train to go. And uh, they were they were off. Yeah, on so strike, weren't they? Yeah, on strike, which I don't I've never known it to yeah. be on strike, you know what I mean? So anyway, come back and then he's been there. And then um I think the night before one, the lads have had a, has had a bed and witness as you do when you're younger. <laughs> so like she's having people like we can yeah. go around tonight, so I come in, let's go, you know what I mean? So all just that that dove in the car. And then we've gone there. And then from that moment until waking up, it's just a total Black blackout. Out. Yeah, I can't it's remember scary, a thing. That, which again is probably a good thing, um, cause I either could Do remember. Do you want to remember it, like? No, you know what I mean? I, I've been told. My dad was. He was one of the first of the season. That the bird was driving past me. Yeah, yeah. some bird. Look, madly, some bird who we know was the one of the first day, and I don't know how. Still to this day, I don't know whether she had my dad's number or she got some, one of the lads using the accent's phone yeah. or what. I don't know, but she phoned me dad, so he was literally there, one of the first. So I can only like, it's mad because he tells me things. Now I don't know whether. I stand to remember it or I'm just putting this all picked my own picture in You're getting there. sound bites from yeah, everywhere and, and you're just building own, your own story own in your head. Thing, yeah, so I don't know. Um but yeah, so and then as I say, just and then obviously my uncle and that were all in the Aussie and they he tells me stories what was going on in the Aussie, like he said it's sort of like he said, Oh yeah, sorry, he'd been in somewhere and like it did said like basically Tom had died, so he's come out and he's gone to some woman. Fucking hell, Tom's died. But it's been Tom's ma who he's told. Uh, so it's like, what? And then, do you know what I mean? He was just like, oh, fuck. So I, they tell me different things that obviously yeah. I'm just out for the count at this point. Yeah. So he's just like, fuck. So then, obviously, it's madness. It's it? scary, like, innit? Like, it fucking, you just said, you're on top of the world, fucking Saturday afternoon, and then everything changes. Yeah. It's it's fucking yeah, it's mad. Like, it's mad, it? but just even before, like, I was at lights and like this, and it's just me, my, as I say, I'm constantly thinking fucking mad stuff. And this lad was getting wheelchaired across the road. And I was just thinking to myself, like, look where I am now. You know what I mean? Yeah. I could be him there. Yeah. Like, even though, you know, I didn't fucking make footy got took away. Like, I could you, be You're well a firm ways. believer in everything happens for the reason. Yeah, I am, yeah. Because I've heard you yeah, mention it a few times. Massively, yeah. Even, like, with work and, like, if things don't really go well, it's like, well, there's a reason why and be, you know what I mean? Like, massive believer in it. Like, that train situation and things like that like I didn't have my seatbelts on so I got f- throughout the car when it made the impact which yeah. killed 
people who were in the car yeah. and things like that. There's a reason why, you know what I mean? But so if, is, is it being sort of proven that if you had your belt yeah, on, yeah, you yeah, would yeah, it would yeah, have been yeah, fatal? Yeah, I had to fucking, yeah. But <laughs> how, did, how did that go then in terms of going for the insurance by yeah. not having a belt on? What's well, mad going because, your no, no, because there's some, there's some, one of the lads who's in the accents, he's not really, me, he, he weren't really me mate then, you yeah. know what I mean? There's, no one I think back, it was a bit of a mad setup. the f- little family we were, you know what I mean? It's like, how the, the fuck? Five, you yeah, got in the car, how? Like me, Danny and Tom were best mates. Callum was the lad who grew up with, but yeah. we kind of drifted apart, but we were still mates. But yeah. then it was his mate. We didn't car. really know. Well, didn't really. Was he the one who got out unscathed? Yeah, so. So Callum and, and Tom died at the yeah, scene. Danny's in a and coma. Danny's still in a. What's. What, is it like a. It's like a low way in his coma or something. So his eyes are open and stuff, yeah. but he's not. Yeah, he doesn't. 13 years later, though. Yeah, it's heavy, it's isn't it? Insane, isn't it? It's sad. Um, it is. So yeah, it's one of them. Like he just stares. If you blink, like do that, you'll blink. But like if you said Danny or what he won't go like what you know what I mean? Is he a home or is he in care? He's in care and uh, just off like you no know, them roundabouts when you're going up towards the dock road on by yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? On yeah. Jericho down them yeah. ways he's in one of them hours oh, there. No but COVID you can't get in and see him or anything like that. Did you see him much before COVID like? Um I had to start a lot, but then yeah. it starts because it's I don't know, it's tough, isn't it? Yeah. And is that not it that says, look, I understand everyone's got their own own life to get on with. It's hard um, as well. But, and at the same time, like do you want to remember him? Without sounding yeah. horrible, do you want to remember him like yeah. that? You know, because he was a good mate and all yeah. that. So it's, it's I know hard. what you mean, yeah. But um, it was his birthday day and I, I was in like, I was I was getting like needles uh, for something, but I was in the, um, I was in like the little doctors and I was posting like a little post on me yeah. Instagram about him, you know what I mean? And I'm fucking hell, I just started getting all... Emotional. Yeah, just fucking, just like... It's bound to come flooding back Yeah, on, mad, because just like, we were proper close, you know what I mean? And then like, I was like, I think I said something like, these are just a few memories, but we should have had a lot more, you know what I mean? And yeah. We should have, because we were very, very close. Yeah. So, yeah, I know what you mean. It's sad to see him, like, the way he looks now, but yeah. I probably should go and see him a bit more, like, and I, and I will do after this COVID. Yeah. No worries. Um, what, what injuries did you sustain in the accident then? Um, so, my main one was obviously, well, fucking hell, my main one, I went on a coma for a bit. for a, like, like, four or five days? Yeah, four or five days in a coma, yeah. So, that was obviously the main one. Uh, and then they've had to, they've all got a big scar down my belly because they obviously, they, had, they couldn't do, they had to cut me open to see. Kidney, was it? Yeah, so then my kidney was, one of my kidneys was totally gone, so I got that out. Um, and then, yeah, my knee was just knackered, so like... Three of the four, was it? Three of the four, ACL, PCL, LCL, all snapped. Um, my right ankle was shattered. shattered. Oh, and then it was just... So then I was on a ward for a little bit, and then uh, when he allowed visitors... Liverpool doctor come in, some woman yeah. from wherever, and she just went, so he's not staying on here, he's, we're getting him in a private hospital, yeah. so they put me, they took me to Vizakli and then my own little suite and that, and I was just getting loads of pain in my neck and, and when I'd say it to like the doctors or the nurses, whatever, they go, it's just whiplash, you know, it's obvious, you've been in a bad crash, so then, you know your own body, don't you? Yeah, but I was saying to me, and then my physio come, he went, no, get him x-ray and that, so then it come back that I broke my neck as well and two bones, Shit. Yeah, so then I had to go and get my neck up, operated on and all yeah. that. Um, but yeah, that was the worst pain I've ever been on. No one woke up. Yeah. Oh, mate, no when you get them buttons to like fire. Yeah, morphine oh, and all yeah, that. Yeah, and you can only do it once every hour or whatever. <laughs> but for 20 minutes or something, you can't. Oh, oh yeah. Honestly, God, the worst pain I've ever been in my life. And the thing is, when you have morphine, like no other painkillers come close to it. No, like morphine's the it? fucking best, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but as I say, it was like 20 minutes where you can't take it and, you, and it's, oh, man, I was just like. I imagine that's fucking know. grim, like. But yeah, so David Inzies. Um, How long was you in hospital for? Ah, six weeks, I think. Yeah. yeah. And, and do you know what? I always remember, I think it was the hottest summer we've ever had. And, like, yeah, obviously, I was just stuck in, yeah. Um, nearly got out to get to me one of my friends' funerals. I was begging them to let me do, like, yeah. went having it. And in the end, they were like, all right, but you're going to have to do this, this, and this. So I was like, yeah, yeah And then, like, the day before, fucking just blacked out. Really? Just collapsed. So then, obviously, that was a no-go. Um, but you know what? Though, thinking back, like, I don't even know. Obviously, I know why I wanted to go, but when I look at photos of me now, Seeing everyone the way I looked there, yeah. I think I weighed about six stone. Wow, fucking insane! Like, everyone, scary, isn't everyone it? would have just been like that. Whoa, what was your mindset like while you were in the hospital? You were thinking about the accident, were you were thinking about footy. What were you sort of if footy, yeah, yeah, yeah footy. It was just never getting back to normal, yeah. There was no like you're not going to be able to play again at all. It in was your just, mind, you're just like, I need even to no recovery. one said that to me, so it would never even cross my mind. Yeah. It'd be it was that to that extent, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was just like, like, let's get out, let's get out of here, and then let's get back. Training back to footy. How long was it before you started training again? Um, so I come out of Aussie and then I, I went I had to go up to London 
it's getting me operations and all that and then like couldn't do nothing for about six months just all up a body talk about that operation a little bit because you went to see that specialist didn't you yeah. and didn't he fucking do something like your hamstrings or yeah, something yeah mad Andy Williams his name was and he was just one of them fellas who you could just sit and talk to for all day. hours yeah. he was just so knowledgeable yeah. about anything just that that voice that just like you just like you know what I mean when <laughs> the people pure Idris Elba yeah, voice yeah just mad me just like just listen to him but um, so yeah when I was going to see him a few times like if players were coming out so Barry Ferguson, uh, Bradley Wright Phillips, just the way, obviously he's the top man. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so went in there, my physio asked if he could sit in it. So then it was about a six, seven hour operation because they done my foot at the same time. Yeah. So we come out and when I was going down there, fucking, I think Wimbledon was on and, and I'd, when I've come up, been chatting pure pony you now because obviously I'm still <laughs> fucking around the bend on them. So um, <laughs> just asked me mad on mad stuff. And then on the way home, Simon, my physio was just like, he's never seen anything like it. He said he's just walked in, he's just gone, right, put the tunes on. And then he just starts like bopping that. Wow, he's, he's operating. Fucking, yeah, just slicing your leg up <laughs> and just fucking just madness. That's his bread and butter. And just, it's like anyone who's an outsider looking at him fucking dancing, exactly. thinking what's going on. Madness. But he's Dead in his chilled. comfort zone, isn't he? Yeah, so, um, and then yet, so, that's a graft ligament to me, knee. So he took her arm, my left arm sting. So Sam said he sliced me left, uh, left knee open, put a tube up it. Twisted it and pulled out hamstring, and obviously made like ligaments in my knee, which is wow. there, which is there now because your knee's you know, grew back, so that's probably grew back now. Where just fucking made it. That's like, my the, the human in my knee. body's fucking scary, Crazy, isn't it? Like, how, how, how do people even find that? Like, who the fuck goes, you know what? I'm gonna fucking pull hamstrings out of that leg with a tube, make ligaments and that, and it, like, who even it's fucking mad. So it he is. said it was a fucking bananas what he was doing, but mate, honest to god, I f- still feel good now, like, yeah. honestly, like. When I come to the Liverpool and that day, it's Sam Simon after all, I got back training and I'm probably jumping a gun a little bit here, but just while we're on the subject, and they they asked, um, it was Dave Galley, in fact, at that time, and he was like, no, he's sound now, but he's going to be fucked in 10 years, and I was like, listen, I'm feeling great, but yeah. spot on now, I, I'll play footy, and I'm in, I am in bits, but for someone like... A couple of days to recover and yeah, all that. Yeah, but he told me, Andy, the surgeon, don't ever think about playing footy yeah, again. That's just not going to happen. going to try and get a fucking yeah. decent way of life going back for you. Exactly. He said, this is the worst things I've ever seen. He said, so, if I can get you back running and that... Like, you, like You've the, won then. Yeah, like gym and it or whatever. He said, that's all I'm after. Yeah. And then, obviously, to, to get back to even being able to play football was a bonus. Wow. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Um, so, you went back to Liverpool then. Um, obviously... Because the injury you got kept back, does that when you got kept back in the yeah, age group? Yeah. What was it like going back then? Was it the same or did you struggle? It's just, it's just tough, isn't it? Because all my age group's gone and then it was at the start, all of that just want me to get back yeah. playing all like there for me and that. So I'm saying an hour, but I'm on my own every day and then like physio will be like, right, try and do this today and I do it and try and do this and I do it. And then right, me and me and Simon at the physio, we got me back first. We were like, Driving the bike around Kirby, yeah, just just getting me out there and getting me getting me thing going, getting me fitness going a bit, muscles in my legs and that. Doing a lot of weight work with with the Julian, the fitness fella, I, and then just yeah, just smashing every target that people that they were putting in front yeah, of yeah. me, yeah. And then I was just back doing a lot of ball work on my own first, and then doing it, and then gradually just stepping up a little bit. Where did the career go from there then? Because Liverpool sent you out on loan a few yeah. times, did they? Yeah, so we come to as I say that that conversation happened then with. Frankie Mack and Dave, Simon Wentz and Dave Galley come in. Dave Galley was a top physio. And then that conversation kind of happened. I sat in the office with Dave and Frankie Mack. And, um, Black and white and Simon yeah, just Frankie just asked see. Dave, how is he? And, he, and I, at this time, oh, I'm back playing with the lads and I'm yeah. feeling good, you know yeah. what I mean? So he goes, yeah, he says, no, he's got to be knackered. And I'm like, what? Like, you know what I mean? I'm how thinking, the fuck are you meant to take that? Yeah, I mean? honestly, I was like, no, I'm all right. He was like, Sean, honest to God, like, the you extend your injury, it's impossible for you to keep up at this level. Like, yeah. five, six, seven years time, you're just going to be knackered than that. And back then, obviously, I didn't know then, but obviously I know now, Frankie Mack was saying, look, just retire from footy. We'll yeah. give you every reference you need. Yeah. We'll look after you. Yeah. Just retire. Yeah. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm playing. All I'm you've not. ever dreamed of growing up was playing for fucking Liverpool, playing footy at a professional level. Someone telling you to finish. It, it's yeah. not what you want to hear, is Especially it? Especially when you're only 20, 20, what, I was, what, 20? That's, you're meant to be 20? fucking coming into the prime years and all that, aren't you? Exactly, you know I mean? yeah. So, yeah, so I was having none of it. And then he was like, well, look, there's not, obviously you can't come back here, kind of thing. But we'll send you along to Oldham. We'll pay you 
we extend your contract here so you're financially yeah. alright and then we go and send you a loan to all them and they didn't have to do that did no, they? no honestly I mean? I haven't have a bad way to say it, but I'll appeal on anything mm. just that Rodolfo because he's a bell <laughs> and that's only where was he from that Rodolfo Spain that but obviously he's exactly yeah <laughs> so be, be, obviously I can't fucking say he doesn't have a clue because he's Pep Guardiola's assistant yeah. you know what I mean but it was just only the reason why I'm saying that because obviously all that's saying it took me two years to get back and after me bollocks off doing it and I went into the changes and my name's on the team sheet. So I was like, fuck, everyone was all hugging me yeah. and all that. So obviously you've gone from like being the highest place in, in a long time. Yeah. And then he called me in his office. So I was like, walked in all like, and he's just gone, um, physios basically done me head in to get you on that team sheet. He said, so I'm going to play you for 45, but I'd rather play him 90 than give you 45. Just like, wow. Why is he have to fucking say that you to You know what I mean? Just yeah. horrible. So... It's fucking upside, yeah. So, but, um, <laughs> but no, so as you say, I've got a bad thing to say about Liverpool. They're brilliant with me all the way. Always there for me. What was the standard like at Oldham then? Was that did you go when Dickhoff was there? Was it Dickhoff and yeah, Jerry Taggart? Yeah. Do you know what as well? Like what's Dickhoff like? Cause he's fucking a character, isn't he? He was all right. His assistant was a bellend. Was he? Yeah, Jerry Taggart, <laughs> but he's a big fucker. So he was I was probably I will, uh, well, Tommy Eves was a scouser there as well, but he kind of went there for long. Yeah. He got signed for Bolton, so I was the only scout yeah. there. So yeah. up in all them, they're all manks, aren't they? A little yeah. bit. So, but um, the standard was, do you know what? I, I've got a, a little bit of a regret, but it is what it is. Like I was, I'm my dad again. I'm my training, getting ready for all them, and I was flying round Camp Hill. I was fucking yeah. fit as fuck, and then the lads were going to Zanti, so fucking went to Zanti for two weeks. The day after I got home, I had to hold them then. Because yeah. when I was going, Zanti was like, "That's me, dad. I'll get up every day. I'll do a run." You never. <laughs> not once. You weren't getting back to the hotel. No, six, seven every in the day. On the, every day I was on the. I think he had like half a day off. Every day I was just on the hill. Um, so then yeah, got back to Walden, and then my very first session was a bleep test. So fucking hell, I think they oh, well, they all the anyway, keepers beat me in everything. So imagine me being a tra- <laughs> well, not a stylist, but the new yeah. lad last in the bleep test. So I've already fucking on a hill yeah, like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then he were never having me. Um, got a little bit better as I got fitter, but. I always remember as well, like the lowest part of my career, I mean, probably my life was, they were doing it, uh, no when like two players will pick players, play for the team. You're the I last was one. the last pick, yeah. I was just like, fuck. I actually you're threw one in. Kid back in Honestly, school. I actually threw one in. I think, I think, I went, you know, what a fuck, Miami's a little bit tight. <laughs> just got off. <laughs> but, yeah, so, and then, it just didn't work out for me yeah. then. So how long were you there for? Them was only short, wasn't it? Was it was meant to be a year, yeah, but, um, that is how I'm, I'm not asked to wear a bar me as well. Like, because I was getting paid by Liverpool, not them. I left after like half season and didn't yeah, even fucking asked, once phone yeah. me to say, Where are you? Yeah. Just, I never ever went back. You're not a final, financial fucking problem for them. No, exactly. Right? I weren't bothered. Yeah. And they didn't give two fucks about me as well. So I got one chance. I could come on for the first team yeah. in a pre season friendly against like a Premier League team. I think it was Burnley. So I'd come on, sub there. He put me like left mid or something. And then I started for the reserves against the. But it might have been barely again, mm. and I just had a stinker. Yeah. yeah, they just they fucking just had a proper gruller. So yeah. they didn't like me at all, and I just didn't like it there. So when I got off, they just didn't even fucking bother for me. Yeah, it's cut ties. And then from there, where did you go? Was it the Welsh Prem, was yeah. it? No, or so did you go I, I went to a couple of other places. Went to like MK Dons because Paul yeah. Lynch was there. Because you played Tom. with Paul or Tom, was it? Sorry, Tom, yeah. So Paul Lynch, he used to rate me as a player. Obviously, she was like, yeah. look, let's see what, what you've still got. Yeah, Carl Robbo was the assistant. Yeah, so I knew him, he played with me dad and that. Went up there, done all right to be fair, but that wasn't again. That wasn't. I didn't. Do What's it, it like? Because obviously you're at Liverpool, which is levels above. You had your mind set on playing for Liverpool, and obviously yeah. the accidents hindered that. But yeah. going to places, no disrespect to these lower clubs. What was it like walking in? But was you thinking like I fucking should be at Liverpool? Yeah, was that sort of in your mind or? No, do you know what it was like. The problem was was that I was nowhere near as good as what I was. You know what I mean? That was the problem. I was going in every place thinking right. That hurt. Yeah, massively. Like, cause you're trying to do things that you you could used to do yeah. all day, and you can't do it no more. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you lose your. I never had a lot of pace in it, but you lose your yard of pace. You lose, you lose a bit of everything. You know yeah. what I mean? And to make it out, of, no matter what. And was just was your confidence in your body, or like were you a bit skeptical every time you'd go to team? Was you a bit cautious, or no? Me, me, me knee. Honestly, me knee was brilliant. Didn't was have it? one like never had a problem with me knee. afterwards. No, obviously like little aches after footy, but tackles still flying. Not Solid. a problem. Yeah, oh. my knee was never. It was just me. Like I lost a lot of confidence as well. Like back as I say when I was at Liverpool, it was just give me the ball. I'm gonna fucking run the show today. <laughs> yeah. But then that day it was a bit high and a little bit. Yeah. Didn't fancy it. 
uh, went to Huddersfield and I'd done very well. I went with Lee Peltier and Gary Robertson and used to drive up with them and I remember I'd done very well there. Yeah. So Lee Clark's man, and like Gary and Lee were like, they might have, you know what I mean? He might have a chance here. And I reckon he put a game on and it was reserves against first team. Obviously, I was in the reserves and in, in the first team at that time, Danny Dinkwater was sent to mid. Yeah. And I used to play against him for Man U and we used to have good battles, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, like, I just that was my moment then. I, and I've, I don't know, but I reckon he's half put that on to see. Right, let's see what you're about then yeah. against the proper team. And yeah. I just didn't want it, just fucking no, hit just from the ball. At yeah. all. No confidence. And then I think that was just. And that's the thing at that level. One game can change everything, can't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. Of course. He's probably just testing me there. Let's see what you've got then. And if I would have went on there, come give me a but but yeah. might have changed his mind because yeah. I actually did very well with the reserves now. But just didn't fancy it at all. Yeah. Just fucking just my confidence was just shot. Just shot completely. Just hit, so <laughs> and uh, so when when did you start in Johnson's then when you're still playing footy or you'd call it a day with footy when you started Johnson's? Yeah, not after, when I was at Johnson's, I think I was um, in the Welsh League. Yeah. So I went to Newtown for a bit in the Welsh League because all my dad's mates and all got Graham and all yeah. that in there. So like when I'd meant to be doing the shift, there was a lad called, fella called Roy in there. He was sand. He was like, look, just go early and I'll just cover you, 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 you know yeah. what I mean? So um, yeah, so that's when I was when I started Johnson. I was playing in the Welsh Premier and obviously yeah, it wasn't we there for long either. Yeah. Too far. You were yeah, about a year in Johnson's, weren't you? Yeah. You weren't at Newtown for long. Yeah. So then obviously. In work, there was there's all kinds of stories about like your fucking your compensation saying like oh we got a phone call and just fucking and there's noticing and yeah. went and all that. What was the script behind that like? Because you were saying before about Liverpool putting references in and yeah. all that. Because there's all kinds of rumours about fucking at like three and a half mil and all that. Yeah. What was the script with the compensation then? I had a um, I had a boss solicitor. She was just on everyone. Okay. Everyone like fucking Gerard Carragher. Jay Speed and Matt like Kelly. statements and all yeah, that. Yeah, just on everyone. So, Jack Wills, yes. So, she was busy, you know what I mean? So, um, she probably looked after me. So, yeah, Gerard, Carragher and all that. They probably never even seen me play footy, but <laughs> just doing as you do. It's like, yeah, he's yeah. brilliant and yeah. all that. Um, yeah, so, just in Johnson, just fucking, I, I always, back in the day, like, my mates who died, his mum said, look, just claim on his insurance. You didn't want to, did you? And I was like, no, I don't want to, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. my best mate who's died, I don't yeah. want to claim on his insurance. And she was like, look, that's what it was there for, yeah. do it. But I didn't have a fucking Scooby-Doo, what, what size it was going to be like, you know what I mean? So, you said um, you thought it was going to be like fucking 30, 40 yeah, grand or something. Yeah, that just thought it would be a normal, you know, like a mm. 30, 40 grand thing, yo. But, um, so yeah, just, um, just, just kind of got one the first offer I got, and I was just like, and me just like laughing at that, and I was like, <laughs> that was life changing like, for you. What? She's like fucking joke like that. So then, obviously, from that point, then you know, fucking hell, and then obviously people talk, and yeah, yeah and I was just thinking when this comes, I'm just gonna fucking fuck bingo and just fucking <laughs> leg it, just, just walk in, <laughs> fucking start sparking people. Well, everywhere. I, just, I was just thinking, right, what I'm gonna do, right? Is I'm gonna put a Lambo right in front of that. So he go, who's just that Lambo? So I go to bingo, fuck off, I'm <laughs> <The> out. <laughs> Mic but, drop uh, and all yeah. that. But, but uh, the article on, on The Athletic um, is a James Pierce. Who done James it, was Pierce, it? Yeah, because yeah. it, it mentioned on there it was around the region of four. Like, right. um, where was your head at then when you fucking when you got it? Was was you like, I'm a young lad with a decent bit of money now, I'm going to go mad, or you're like, head nah. screwed on? Bought me mum a nice car. Not honestly, I'm not clear, clear debts as yeah, well. Yeah, clear debts. Like, yeah, because they the cars for you. Yeah, yeah. I remember once I went, I went to the the, uh, the bank with me ex bed. And I was like, come on, we'll just go for a coffee and that. So, and then I thought I had a tenner in the bank. So I've gone. And this, and uh, when you're at Liverpool, it's just, like you're on like five, six, seven hundred quid a week. That was my contract anyway, yeah. as a as a 17 year old. Yeah. It's five, six, seven, you get 10 grand a year. Sign on. Free. So, you're, yeah, so it was like 30 grand over three years, and then you're five, six, seven. That was mm. my contract, which was like low. Yeah. Local lads. You, you've mentioned the foreigners got Yeah, the foreigners contracts. are getting fucking like two grand a week and then <laughs> apartments and all that. I'm mad. Just fucking wrong, boxed, yeah. yeah. So, obviously, from being on the, on that, let me earn money at 17. I've always had dough, you know what I mean? Bank, yeah. And then, yeah, I went to the bank uh, and I was like, that went to, went to my ex-bail. I was going to get us some money out. God, I went to get me 10 out, but a, a bill must have come out and I had no money in oh, my account. Oh, shit. Oh, lad, it was horrible, <laughs> lad. That's a say to me. I can't, we can't go now, fucking... <laughs> My mum needs to go somewhere. Made a big excuse, but um, that was just low. So, yeah. um, so now it was just, it was just, um, I don't even know what it was. It was fucking insane. I was just walking around money in my mind because that's where it's mad how they do it. Because like, how it was, it was like the insurance was in one room. We were in the other, and then you had the mediator. 
So they were like coming in with offers. So you weren't allowed to see them or not? No, no. And she was just coming in with offers and my boss saying no. All right. What about this? No. Know what I mean? It's mad. And then in the end... Was it your list of making decisions or... Bar- me barrister. Barrister. And in the end, he come in with an offer and my barrister said no. And I went, nah, listen, mate. I'm fucking taking it. Because like, the one before, I phoned me half and he was like, take that. Yeah. Take it. It's like Jane, take it. So I was like, and he went, let's trust me. Old out, old yeah. out. They want honestly. They were chatting like fifteen mil or something mad like that. He was saying, but the problem is, is but what happens if you push them too far? That's then? the problem. If you if it ends up going to court, if the judge offers you less than what they've offered you, you've got to take. You've it. got to no. You've got to pay for everything that's happened. Oh really? Yes, yeah, so you've got to pay for all, all the legal fees. All the legal fees. Then you end up with fuck all anyway. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. You've got to pay for all the legal fees and that. So um, fine line then, isn't it? So then, to, yeah. So to touch you one hour. So he was like chatting fifteen mil and that, and then. For me, our fella, he said, take it. And then I said to him, the fella, and he said, look, hold out, hold out. And then he was like, look, this is the last one. And then we were like, we're holding out. And then come back in. And then, so I just said, look, I'm fucking taking yeah. that. And then me and my ma just walking around, fucking man, he's just like, what? And then went for a little bevy with this, this and that. And it was just <laughs> fucking madness, that boy. Yes. And then, yeah, just got into business and that then. Just what can yeah. I do? Because I'm not much soft. Like, money yeah. doesn't last forever. Yeah, so exactly. just opened a few little businesses and just kind of... Well, I want to touch on the businesses in a minute, but before we do, I want to keep it on the sort of footy stream then. So, yeah. Great Britain at the yeah. Paralympics then. So, how did that come about? Um, I was in my mom's kitchen and um, got an email from a guy called Jeff Davis. And like, I was just reading it. I was like, to my mom, mad that. So, I was like, so I showed her. And he's basically just said, look, I've been reading up on you. Uh, it mentions that you've got a bleed in the brain. Usually, bleed in the brain leads to cerebral palsy. So, are you willing to come down? I obviously explain what, what, yeah, what yeah. it is. Will you come down and let our doctors not look at you? So I was like, yeah, right, sound. So I've gone down there, St. George's Park, um, and then I've gone in there and the doctors have looked at me and it's just, and it was mad because like, when I was getting fit with the pool, I'd like lift the kettlebell, but my left arm would come up like that and my, my physio would go, put your left arm down. I'd go, sorry, don't even know I'm doing it. You just kept doing it. Yeah, I kept doing it and it turns out that cerebral palsy people, when they get tired, they do that with their arm. So really? effect, I think I think if you reflect on your right side, you affect your left and no vice way. versa. That's so not that, isn't it? I was doing that all the time. And that when I've got around the lads, yeah. they play footy like that. Fucking mad. That's, so that's that, scatty that, isn't that's it? what it was, yeah. So um so yeah. And he's just picked up on because of your story. Yeah, the just he the just gave me story, yeah. The bleeding the brain and then gone and seen the doctor. And then like he was asking me to do things that you don't just do day to day, like you don't just sit there and he was like he was moving his finger. I had to like yeah, yeah. touch my nose and then touch his. Yeah. And I couldn't fucking hit it. Everywhere. Nah, it's better than my phone. Yeah. I, couldn't, <laughs> couldn't hit, I just couldn't hit his finger. And I was like, and they were like, that's your brain trying to tell you. And it's, it can't be. That's scary, isn't it? So they've gone, he's got signs of it. Like, and I was like, fucking hell, it's crazy that. So then, yeah, I was just going up to, it was it was England at the time. So I was just going up to training, playing yeah. against a few little teams and that. And then a Great Britain squad come about then. Um, and then I had to, I had to go to Portugal. And he had, we had a tournament, but you, you had to get classed. Yeah. So you that's where you got your class classification. Yeah. Like registered properly. So um it's mad because so Great Britain who I was with. The classification is that like from a level five to Sorry, the Sorry, yeah. Is it? So it's five of the ones who are the, the worst, basically. Yeah. So and then it goes six, seven, and eight, obviously, yeah. eight being the best, yeah. which is what I got. Um but you can only have on a pitch one five. You've got to have one five and only one five and only one eight. And the rest in between. And the rest in between, you can have like all six oh, and okay. sevens. Because if you flood the team full of eight, yeah, you've got you're an advantage. Winning, exactly, yeah. yeah. So, so when I went to Portugal to get my classification and that, Great Britain, they had me up, like they had me up awake for like 36 hours. They wouldn't let me sleep. So I was like walking around Portugal and, and like Why? they had me on coffee because to make me tired. So when I done my test, I was fucked. So I'm doing all mad stuff. Ah, honestly, to the end, so you, but I was like that. Yeah, honestly, I was like tired and I was like, so I was like, no, coffee, yeah. oh, let's go for a walk. That's mad. Yeah, so I, so I was waiting for, th- honestly, 36 hours, I just didn't sleep. And then I had my classification and then fucking, so he's like, and I'm honest, imagine me in a way for 36 hours, like you're on a yeah, bend and like fucking trying to kick in. I'm like, kick. and I'm not soft, I know, I need to have spoon this one a bit. Yeah. You've got to play the game, haven't yeah. you? So I'm like, ah, fucking missing it and all that. And then, uh, yeah, then I got an eight then from that. And then my manager said, come ever train now. I said, you messing me? <laughs> he, he made me train as well. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that's what he did, yeah. But 
probably blowing them sky. Yeah. Like, what the fuck <laughs> I but um, but that's what that's just what kind of. But it's listen, it's all corrupt. Me, you play Ukraine and they're all eights. Yeah, every one of them's an eight. You yeah. go like he's see him there, he's a five. Like what? No, he's not. Fucking pinging it both feet. Yeah, everywhere. Half five. Well, half five was a keeper. Who's the best in the world? Yeah. So see him, he's an unbelievable keeper. But their fives like fucking both feet. Ah, it's just corrupt. Yeah. But um, but yeah, so that's how it started. So then. Um, Paralympics was coming up, wasn't it? So yeah. Rio. Uh, Rio, yeah. So um, boss experience though. Yeah, boss got private jet. Well, not private, but it's a proper a cap, proper yeah. plane, but all only our yeah, Great Britain yeah. squad or whatever. So you're on there like that Ellie Simmons and these other little celebrities and yeah. the, uh, the small swimmer. And um fucking insane you get there, you just get treated like royalty, and then you go to the Paralympic village and then you've got your own flats with all Great Britain flags no and way. you'd be next door to Brazil who's got theirs and whatever. That's fast though. Um you just like, played the opening game against Brazil, didn't you? Yeah, Brazil. Sell out as well. Well, yeah, sell out, yeah, because it was the first, I was with them being a host, yeah. it was the very first game, yeah, but I didn't, I didn't get on the manager. <laughs> he, he, fucking, <laughs> he, he didn't really, he didn't really take to me, to be fair, but yeah. I think I should have been playing, but, and a few other people did, but he didn't. Come on, half time against Ireland, didn't you? Yeah. Did you get any minutes against yeah, Brazil? No, 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 but I was, it was crying out for me, the game, and I was just yeah. like, fucking put me on, because yeah. there was a lad up front called Port, David Porcher, yeah. Scottish lad, yeah. brilliant footballer, and me and yeah. him, you should proper link up well. Yeah. And it just, it was, I know, it was, it was like, crying out for yeah, you. Yeah, it was, cry, it was like one all, I think. I was crying out for it, but he just, he didn't put me on. Yeah. But then, so then what I done then, like a divvy. For the next like three or four days, I was just eating cakes and buffets and wearing yeah. ass. Then and then he played me against Ukraine and started me. Yeah. It was second best in the world. Yeah, and I was I don't know right, but I was fucking flagging. You know what I mean? Seven aside, didn't it? Yeah, it's tough. What what's the sort of rule? And then is it just standard it's rules? Just or? Yeah, but yeah. it's like do I try and describe it? Bring the corner flag of eleven aside into the corner of the eighteen yard box. Bring it in four smaller sides. Smaller goal and, as well. Yeah, a bit of a smaller goal, and that's the size. But, Thirty minutes and a half. Yeah. But when there's only seven years, it's you, you've got to cover some. You've ground. got to cover yeah a lot of because it's not a tiny. It's not like you're on goals, is it? No, it's, it's, it's massive, well yeah. bigger than goals. It's like fucking four or five times yeah. bigger than goals. So you'd have and you can play seven ass. aside on that, all right? In the fucking Brazilian heat as well. Exactly. And After play, fucking loads of cakes. Exactly. But you're playing against them, and they 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 they're, they're uh, full time. These Russia, yeah. Ukraine, Brazil, they get paid to play, yeah. so, so they just know how to play. Yeah. So they're like, it's like a game of chess. It's like, and there's no offsides. So like. They'll pass it, keep it, keep it, and then they like left back will go and stand on the goal line. Yeah. And the centre middle hit it to him and he'll like bounce it to the foot. And then uh, it's just mad how yeah. they play. Where we were just we play, we turn up once a month and train for two days. And so we were never on their levels level. above like. And I I just there was this lad in midfield with one arm and I just couldn't get near him at all. I was like, <laughs> fucking hell, mate, what are you? Do you know what? what, what? Do you know what? Like <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say, don't you? We played this. We played the game against this lad with one arm on goals, and uh, he was fucking boss, was right? He, yeah. And I couldn't get near him, and then he just slapped me with the sweaty stump, like, <laughs> and I just felt violated. <laughs> it was like a fucking big oh, dirty dick hit me in the face. I was just like, oh, what am I gonna do here? Yeah, not only just made a little fucking showy on the pitch. He, just... yeah, he made a showy on the pitch, yeah. and then slapped me with his fucking stump, and I was like, oh, I'm getting off. I'm phoning me man. I'm like, lad, honest to God, I just couldn't get near this lad. I was just like, wow, this is bananas. But then, like, as I say, I was thinking, he's not a six, him. He's fucking unbelievable. You <laughs> know what I mean? It's just, it's just crazy. Pinging it everywhere. Honest, but we only got beat one there. But we finished fifth. So that was the highest we did. I mean, he's in the group. In the group. So again, again, corruption. We had Brazil and Ukraine in our group. So obviously. You shouldn't have been seen no, against them. should be spread out. So we weren't getting through anyway. Because yeah. uh, obviously only two go through. Um, so yeah, we had fucking lost before it even started. But yeah. then we finished fifth, which was the highest we. Great Britain had ever finished. I never finished, boss, yeah, yeah, which is good. Mm. But then once you scored against Ireland, didn't you? Yeah. That, did you only score one in the tournament? Yeah, yeah. So I played, played I, only, I only played against Ukraine a half and played against Ireland a half. That yeah. was all I played. Yeah. As I say, the, the problem what I had was the other eight, as I say, you only had loud one. He was the face of Great Britain, Britain. football. Good looking lad, great speaker. Um, he'd been there for years, yeah. so we they just all loved him. Yeah. He was like, a and there's god. only only one eight allowed. You're never. Gonna and he's a good footy player. Don't get yeah. me wrong. You're very never going to fucking player. take him off, are you? Know no, you? exactly. He's a very good footy player, but I was just I didn't have a chance of just playing yeah. there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, he used to actually play against me for Birmingham, but he was oh, really? a right back, and I was a centre mid. So then obviously that's just like 
says, you know what I mean? But so was everyone in the team sort of like ex-professional who no, had... No, it's only me and him. Really? Yeah, oh, and this Davy Porcher, who's from Scotland, he mm. used to play for like Hearts or someone, yeah. and then he's, he had cerebral palsy, but a lot of lads are born with it. Yeah. It, a, a good player called Matt, he, uh, he just kind of, it come on him. Like he just kind of just woke up one yeah. day with like shingles in his body and now yeah. he's got it. He's, he, and then Jack is in one about he got punched in in town and banged his head. in Birmingham, yeah, and banged wow. his head. And Scary, innit? Yeah. How one instant can just fucking change your life forever. Exactly. So after the tournament then, was that you done? Yeah, or did you stay like, on So that me? manager who didn't really get on with me. Well, not that he didn't get on with me, he just... He just yeah. didn't fit into his plans. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, he was... He was leaving, and then the assistant. Another fucking Rodolfo, whatever his name exactly, is, isn't it? Yeah, fucking. Yeah. But he was. He You're was... the fucking common denominator. He led us here. You're the problem. Them. It's <laughs> fucking you, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, fucking hell. <laughs> but uh, then the other assistant, the Scottish fella, was taking over, and he phoned me. He's like, "Look, I, want I know bath. what he's for, but I fought different." So, and and he's like, "We got it," but then we usually play. So Rio was what twenty sixteen. Yeah. This is at a point in life where you kind of not ask for footy anymore, are you? Yeah, know? that was just that was the only real thing I enjoyed. You know what I mean? Going yeah. up there and that. Um, but then obviously at this point, my businesses, the businesses had started off. and all that, and it was a bit of a headache because I'm driving down here, which is two hours away, and yeah. I couldn't fucking be asked. And then yeah. when you're playing on a normal tournament, that Greek, uh, sorry, the Paralympics was obviously there. Yeah. Other tournaments are there. Yeah. And it's like I've been there now. Be yeah, that, that. You know yeah, I mean? you started low level exactly and built up, up. You yeah. just jumped, thrown straight in the deep end. Well, you're the lads you play place. for them, it's the be all and end all. Going yeah. up to, of, of course, you're playing for Great, great Britain, Britain. It's, it's a great thing. But, but you I've, fucking represented England exactly, at a youth I've level done. for a long yeah, time. Exactly. You played at a high level, didn't I you? I played so? at a high level than that, yeah. so it's it's for me, it's like a bit of more of an eddy. Then, yeah. well, don't get me wrong, I've still got all the lads on Twitter and instead yeah. and all that. And when I see them, I'm like, happy, sick, be in there now, but yeah. So I just didn't find it. Life takes you in different directions, don't it? You know what I mean? So yeah. you can't fucking regret anything that's no, fucking gone on. Um, so just one more on the footy. So obviously you were at Newtown, um, at Johnson's and that. When you got paid out then, was you never allowed to play professional footy again because no. your compensation? Yeah, yeah. What's the script with that? I, I don't really know. It's never really been spoke about to me, but... I, I I know it's happened before. Mike Marsh, he was at Liverpool. He the same thing happened to him, but he went back and played for Liverpool. And I think you've you've got to give so much. He's liable back. then to yeah, pay back. Yeah, I think you got it. I was never I was never gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. But rumor has it that's once you get it, that's it. You're done. Like it's mad, isn't it? So it's what it just, is. Um, businesses then. Yeah. So as you said, you got your money, you sorted your mum and dad out and stuff, and then you started going down the business route. Um, I know you've got a stake in Waverton Nurseries, yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah. Um. You've I've, I've heard the story about you sort of went to see your mate who was chefing and then wanted to fucking jump on it and all that. So is it twenty five percent that you're owning that yeah, business now? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a fucking good business to get into nurses, isn't it? Yeah, it's with fucking money in there. But like. it was for me, like when I used to go and see him, like that, like Coutinho's kid, I think, or Firmino's kid, and that was pulling out, and there was kids, it, and I was like, fucking hell. Yeah. So I said to Bobby, who, who's, who's my business partner back then, and I said, any like opportunities? Yeah. I'll dive in this, and then they come about, yeah. Um, and then we've gone from that then to five now, so we've got five. I was looking the other day, if he's opened one on the safari park. Yeah. How the fuck did that come about? Yeah. Bobby just got contact. You know, but a few people I've spoke to about it this week have said, like, fucking the business, they've opened one on the safari yeah. park, and they were just like, that's what a yeah. fucking idea that is. You yeah, know it's what I mean? as well, you know. Imagine mm-hmm. just fucking lions breaking in, all that scrambling no. kids everywhere. And all that, no, it's, um, no, but there's a, I think they've got a bit of a deal where you can. I don't have much to do with them, you know what I mean? Silent I just, partner. Yeah, I just kind of just, just have a catch up with yeah. Bobby and Tracy whenever. But I think they've got like a bit of a deal where they can take the kids around there, you know that's what I mean? Boss, that, Oh, it's, it's lovely, you know, set out in like obviously gardens and all that. But they're all nice. It's a it's a it's a yeah. well run business. So um it's good, yeah. Yeah, and then you've got your property development, is it? Yeah, property so development. Are you more involved in that, are you? Yeah, yeah. So I've got my own one which is SDH. Uh, so I've I built five hours over the water. Um from scratch ground up. Yeah, from bought the land and auction and then my uncle built them for me. And then just a few little houses have done up and just like flipped them or I kept them, just refinanced them, yeah. yeah. Just kept them, just fucking tenants paying your cab out. But just a bit of game, a, in yeah. It. I just have agents looking after my dad. Yeah. Get them like 50 quid a week, then fucking just you run around the doors and all that, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, so and then a few little houses that I kind of just done up and yeah. kept all there. It's more of a long term game because, yeah. I've, the thing, it, the thing about houses now, because I know a few people who've got like a little fucking collection of houses, and you'd hardly make any money. It's like a retirement yeah. pot in it. So I've heard like my dream is that pensions are gonna 
get fucked off soon. Yeah. So, so then now uh, your pension at the end of the week. So if you got them on a repayment on 15 years and they the paid they paid off and then yeah. you you got five hours worth under grand is half a million, yeah, you know what I mean? Flying again, aren't exactly. You? So that's me plan anyway. Have you got isn't the like the sort of high rise down Parliament Street? Are you part of that, are you? The Norton, yeah, the Norton, yeah, yeah, the yeah. So Norton we got plan on that the end of last year. Um, so that's a fucking big fella, that one. It fucking it is gonna be a big fella. You had trouble didn't you over fucking how high you can go because people yeah. in the world saying they can't see the cathedral yeah. and all that. <laughs> no, what the problem is is that we've we've got the world heritage heritage Size. statements, yeah, Liverpool, so. Yeah. It's all views and that, so like we had to work with, you know, the heritage and the, the world heritage and obviously the council about yeah. things. And then they were like, you can't from the from the will, you can't see the cafes. It's like it gives a fuck. You yeah. know what I mean? But um, but now we come to it, we start to lower it. But we've worked with them along the all the way, and then um, then yeah, probably about two years or something, then we end up getting planning. And so that's like I'm gonna be six hundred and fifty apartments, uh, hotel. Um, offices <laughs> it's mad 50, that, isn't it? thousand square foot I think it is and save us an office lad I need a new studio know, save yeah. us an office lad <laughs> the <laughs> fucking deal <laughs> I'll have to sell one of my kids and he's gone down studio. there and he said uh, yeah. the Baltic ways yeah. 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 yeah no son yeah, no, so it's good it's good. It's, it's exciting this it is. Is what's the sort of end date on it on what the build? building oh yeah. fucking hell it's has Covid hindered it yeah yeah massively yeah because obviously no one wants to buy or whatever then yeah. or so we're talking probably we're well, going to talk three or four year build, aren't you? Yeah. It's going to be a bit. It's going to be a it's big, a big one. one. Like and, and it's, but I think it's about hundred million pound build as well. So fucking that's a lot of money. Yeah. There. So it's actually, so it's only certain players out there who can get who involved. Can do, who can yeah. get involved? Yeah. yeah. Especially with COVID. And then is it going to be sort of like he's going to sell all the apartments? Is it rentals? Is it going to be a mix? What's the script with it? Yeah, it just it depends. It depends really. We can do like a um, probably going to do a JV on that one. Yeah. Joint venture with someone yeah. who's a big big. Big player think, in the game, yeah. yeah. So they'll be they'll be on next level. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So um, yeah, you probably how you, you how you can wait. You sell overseas, don't you? So yeah. you have like sales agents. That's where you big fucking get off market yeah. and you get obviously exchange and sorry deposits first and then exchanges yeah. and that's how all that works and that. It made Paul's in that buy to let game. So he does it. He deals with a lot of sort of off season overseas yeah. investors. Will give him money and say buy me an apartment and, then and let it out and all that. And then they guarantee you rentals yeah, and all that. Right, that's fucking it's crazy, a, I, again, I'm just I'm learning. There's too much to it, isn't it? You oh, can't just fucking take it all in overnight. My mates just opened a sales agent, so I've kind of learned a little bit by going in and seeing him. Yeah. And that he's he was helping on one of our sites in there. But again, obviously being footy player on my life, I don't really know much. But yeah. it's Bobby. He's the f- he's the one he's who knows the fucking a lot the more. Yeah, all. so yeah. I just kind of pick up things along the yeah. way. Off him. You're only young. You're only fucking thirty, aren't you? So exactly, you've yeah. got your life ahead of you. So yeah. you'll pick it all up. Like I've got, a, I've got another site as well, mate. Going fucking probably a bit too big, too soon. But <laughs> yeah, maybe we are. Let's crack on it. Yeah, listen, you fucking. You might as well get it done now while you're still hungry and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you mentioned before about was it the the residential? What's the sort? Oh, the care The care Yeah, what, yeah. So what's the script just, behind that? So just up, just uh, me half as me comes to me and um, said basically that he he set up in Doncaster with with a couple of fellas over there and they don't want to come to Liverpool. So he's got the he's got the care and brand. Yeah. All, knows all the policy yeah. policies yeah. etc. Which I, but he said but what we're lacking is ours is money. Are you fancy it? So I was like, sound yet? Yeah. So just the uh, first one was an house that I just rented out and it worked out well because my tenant left. That's so I just said, talk him to show yeah. that. He said, perfect. Done it to spec, which is obviously your fire door, fire alarm system, yeah. all that stuff. All your fucking regulations yeah, you've got to follow. Exactly. And then got planning through the, pl- got planning with the Liverpool City Council. And then uh, you've got to be registered. So because uh, we're going with adults with learning difficulties and autism and stuff like okay. that, we had to go through CQC. Yeah. Which is a bit like an offstead, but for adults, you know yeah. what I mean? So obviously with COVID again, that's so fucking ages. Hindered everything. Yeah. So we but last week when I was in on my stag in Newcastle in, in London, we got it passed. So awesome. now we can now officially, officially start operating and that's so all wow. just about getting getting out there now and getting commissioners into And that and that's that's what I fucking love about you. Like you're not a young lad with a bit of money doing all fucking mad things. You you're putting things back into the fucking community, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, what's no, possible, that's what I am. That's what I like to think of as well, you know what I mean? That's what I like to do. It's Are you looking to be like active in all the businesses or are you looking for like passive income where you yeah. can fucking sit back and just earn money? What's yeah, the... my, my, my end goal, my end goal, I want to yeah, have different types of passive income coming in. I've yeah. obviously business, property, care yeah. home, nursery, and then obviously hopefully a couple more and then just fucking that. Enjoy life. Yeah, just buy one and buy it off. Ideally get a villa in Spain somewhere where yeah. like, 
And we're just thinking, what are you doing? What are you doing Thursday to your beers? Like, trying to fuck off this yeah. villa for a little <laughs> few days. Yeah. That's what I want. That's what I see myself, you know what I mean? Yeah. Why not? But as you say, I'm only 30. Sometimes I get a bit impatient. So like, well, why is this not happening yeah. now? And, and that's the thing, like, people who get into the business game, you're naive and you get into it and you expect gains overnight. It's yeah, not going to happen. Like, it's a fucking grind it's and fucking it's a long. slug and you've got to, you're in for the long game. Yeah. And, and at the uh, minute, as long I'm as you're thinking, aware of that, you'll be fine. Yeah, at the minute, I'm thinking, oh, I didn't get involved. It's fucking too long. And because I just kept there and lived the life and that. But then once you spend it, once you go and buy this or buy that, that's gone. And, and this, like the money we were talking about before, it's life changing. You can spend it in a day. Oh, mate. It could be gone in no time. Especially you know I mean? how much things are now. You fucking yeah. buy it top. It's five ton because it's got like one fucking. It's mad. Dior sign it's, it's fucking bizarre, yeah. isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm trying to think long term. So, obviously, at some point, you're going to want kids and all that. Yeah. So, but at the minute, like, I'm one of them. I need my life planned before I do anything like that. And at the minute, I'm just renting a, an apartment and my businesses aren't there yet. You know yeah. what I mean? Things like that. So, yeah, just buy me time and then hopefully everything works out. But COVID has not helped at all, yeah. has it? No, it's but fucking... People shagging bats has ruined everything on it. So I mean, it's graft. Fucking <laughs> scassy, you know, But still, here, yeah, still fighting, so... Good lad. Good um, any other sort of business plans in the pipeline or not? And yeah, just waiting for these fucking to sort of yeah, take off. Yeah, you don't want to juggle too much, yeah, do you? Yeah, that's it, you know what I mean? You want to become the, the master of your fucking your trade, you know what I mean? Yeah. What you're doing, rather yeah. than No, I'm just going to... I'm going to... I say the... the, the, the development stuff and I, I don't know a lot about it I probably should be a little bit should get involved a little yeah. bit more but I'm going to focus fully on the care stuff so yeah. like um, and the thing is with like nurseries and care that's going to be needed forever exactly that's not a business yeah. that's going to fall over tomorrow people are always going to need care yeah, people always need COVID child as well the case is even in yeah. more they're having to send kids or adults to fucking London and all over the place because there's not there's not enough houses no, for, to keep them so and obviously with COVID it's obviously going to get worse because yeah. parents can't financially keep Do up it, yeah. so yeah no, as you say you're right um, so I'm going to take me for put me full uh, attention into that and yeah. uh, let me stay with that I think boss um, right, I'm going to move on to the game. So right. everyone has their price. I'll ask you, I've got four today, four questions. See Go what you're willing to do for a bit I've of payout. I've right? seen these before. <laughs> it's hard though, you don't need any money. <laughs> right. For 400 grand, right, you got to go back to Johnson's. Yeah. And you got to let your grey and put 10 odd rings through your bottom lip. Ten. Bang. Oh, he loves it, don't he? Yeah, I've seen his, I've seen his Mate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because murder and work, because like you've got to rotate through the jobs because of fucking ergonomics and health yeah. and safety. And Ogringen's like one of the hardest jobs. And all the health and safety officers are like, you've got to fucking every half an hour in Graham stayed on it for like nine years. Yeah. He's fucking just one arm just like that, yeah. isn't he? And you look for his hand, <laughs> it's fucking like that. mangled, isn't it? And he just clicks everywhere. Ah, it's scary, isn't it? For 400 grand? Eight, oh, it's fucking piercings, isn't it? I don't know about ten, like. It's a bit Ten's a lot bit excessive, isn't it? Yeah. Like the pain after one. I think I might probably one or two. I got carried away with the ten there, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think t- ten on these? Even like? fit, lad. <laughs> you know, yeah. big so no, you no, answer that. No, right then. All right then. Um, you love a game of golf. Yeah. Right, I know you love a game of golf. 300 grand on the table. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to let, <laughs> got to let John Flanagan <laughs> put a tee down your bell end and fucking tee oh, off. You've got to sit there, lie down on your back, right? With a fucking tee in your jab, right? Really 300 grand. Really just one tee off from your pipe. I was going to say your bum over for that's fucking sound, and it's only your ass. And if you hit your ass, you hit your ass. Like, imagine he catches your onion bag oh, and everything. Um, One of them big fuck off ones in it, doesn't it? Yeah. What's he like though? What's his driving game yeah, like? Flano. Ah, Flano's. Uh, that's what. I was, oh, what the first, first thing that comes to me is he's pretty. He's pretty clear. He's yeah, clear he's on clean. his drive. So I think he just like. It's quite nice. Yeah. So, uh, but he's that much of a little fucking bastard. He yeah, probably right, yeah. me on purpose. Yeah. Um, no. No. Nah. <laughs> no one's going near my. Right. Like, no <laughs> this one's a little bit different then. So this one, you don't get any sort of. Money up front, yeah. But you can get like a little package. So you love a sporting event. We were talking about the Euros before and the yeah. final tickets. You can have tickets to any sporting event in the world, right? Your travels paid in full, your accommodation, all your expenses covered. Yeah. But from the time you leave your house to the time you get back, you've got to walk everywhere like the Techno Viking. Have you seen it? No. Haven't you seen it? Show us. Go on YouTube, lad. Like the Techno <laughs> Viking. Have you, you seen it? Haven't you? He just fucking bops around like this everywhere, lad. He's funny, lad. Oh, <laughs> how much? Oh, he's <laughs> on all that. Get your fucking tickets, whatever. Ah. The World Cup final. 
He just bounces around. I can't, I haven't even got my phone on me, lad. He just oh, bounces around I, I everywhere. I know for a fact I couldn't do it, you know. I'm just, I'm too shy. I'm not about all that, like, I'm just dead shy, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, unless, if I'm bevied all the way through it, I'll fucking do that anyway. <laughs> get a few bottles of red wine out, lad, you'll be sound. Honestly, God. Stay tight, get in. That's just not good, you know. <laughs> um, no, probably no. not. All right, last one then. So, everyone's going to go, he's a boring country. Ah, fucking. <laughs> you're a. Uh, Few of the lads fucking gone to Nando's, right? You're having a scram with them and all that. Someone throws two hundred grand on the table and gives you a bottle of that fucking Vusa hot sauce and goes, Ah, lad, that's so sad, do that. Eyeball Paulie, oh, like eyeball fucking Paulie. Kevin, Kevin Perry in it, right in the ice socket. I was really going to say, put that all over your screen. I had that anyway. <laughs> yeah. I had the hottest. Everywhere? Oh. No, fucking eyeball. eyeball. Two hundred grand to have on yeah. your scram, that's easy yeah, money. No, right in your ice socket. Yeah, you're talking about, you're going to be sore for about an hour. <laughs> yeah, okay. Remember Steve, our fucking jackass? Yeah, he's he um he's got a company now. He makes his own hot sauce, and um he done like a little cooking show with Gordon Ramsay a few months back, and like Gordon Ramsay was fucking making recipes or whatever, and then he went, "Is my hot sauce? Try it." So he was trying it, and then he went to Gordon Ramsay, watched this, and just poured his it in eye. his eye, and was just fucking in screaming, crying. He was in a bad mood. Like, he's like, fucking mad. Was it Jackass, wasn't it? Yeah, he was in Jackass. Yeah. No, this is a little bit of. I remember I was looking at a video the other day. I've seen a fella who's been going round to like. Uh, weather spoons it was in fact and he goes he's on his live feed and he's going right to everyone I'm in this weather spoons yeah. in like fucking lip pill say in whatever yeah. whatever one it is I mean table numbers that buy me a drink me, whatever he wants and people are buying them all kinds yeah and they go make it the man lad the some of the things that people <laughs> are ordered in the end the woman said you're gonna have to you get, get off, off yeah, yeah. Maddest ordered, like, drinks like, ever. fried egg with like mash yeah. and all that. just fucking mad just thinking what's going on with some people that must be sitting there thinking what can I do yeah. now the internet's fucked up yeah, though innit honestly like, god but pff, Fucking madness, but um, two hundred grand. I do that, yeah, yeah definitely. It's it's gonna sound. be just paying for a walk. Fucking easy money, that isn't it? Plan for life, like, but <laughs> two hundred grand. Yeah, Happy no, days. I do that. <laughs> sound. Do um, so, last section then. Uh, what does the future hold for you? It can be personal, it can be business, it can be fucking learning a new language, anything. Yeah, what sort um, of plans have you got? Just, just be successful in the um, in the, in the business that I've got. Really, um, learn learn more, get more involved in things, yeah. and then. St- as I say, I'd love a like just like villa abroad where yeah. you can just nice house here, villa abroad, yeah. just fucking just down tools, get off exactly. Yeah. And ideally, where I, I'm hoping to see myself is up. I love like all the edge and yeah, all them round there, Hale, Bowden, round there. We played the Mir the other day when we done Matty Stag at home. We played the Mir, Champions League final was on, so yeah. played the Mir, and then as we were finishing, the, it was starting, so we had a big table outside yeah. and watched the game. But have you played golf yourself? Yeah, have you played the Mir? No. Oh, lad, it's insane. Like, there's just fucking hard. Don't get me wrong, the way for about 4 mil, but just all over the lake, right round the course. I think picturesque. Pig, Pink Pickford lives in one. Really? Um, oh. Unbelievable. And you just look at that and think that's just life goals. That's the dream, isn't it? Yeah. So, everything kicks off and goes well. Like, that's, that's where, that's where I'd want to live up there, mate. Different world. I reckon you will. As I, as I said before, you're fucking still young. You've got your head screwed on. You're fucking going in the right direction. You'll be sound. Yeah, no, thank you. I've letter, enjoyed it tonight. It was yeah, good, Dad. It's a pleasure. Listen, thank you very much, mate, and uh, speak to you soon. Cheers, guys. And a Alright, everyone. Today's episode is brought to you by Mogwai CBD, leaders in organic CBD. All my listeners can now get 10% off all CBD products at www.mogwai-cbd.com. That's M O G. WAI-CBD.com. Alternatively, you can go across to the Instagram page, Mogwai underscore CBD, and just follow the link there to the website. Now, if you use discount code NOWTHEN10, that's N O W T H E N 10, NOWTHEN10, you can get 10% off all products there.